what's up guys there's a tick here so today i'm gonna talk and do a real review about uh, that guy right there which is uh, the t238 uh basic mascot so get that unboxing you know so we got a patch in there we got the customer service card we got the manual which is you know really basic and doesn't really um tell you everything you need to do for the installation part so you have to check online, but you know it is what it is. You have a couple of stickers, you have a small accessories um, bag, and you have the MOSFET itself. Um, so first of all, the MOSFET itself is you know like a nice clicky, um, so you know like micro switch uh, MOSFET. Oh, I don't know if you can hear it. Uh, Come straight up with dings. Um, the quality seems good, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. So those are your sensor for um, your sector gear. So, you know, basically those two sensors detect, um, you know, when you did a cycle or not. So that's pretty good. And on the back, I'll try to make sure you see it properly. Zoom. Okay. So you have a small... Um, small switch right there as you can see and that's um, how it detects that it, it's going in full auto uh, you know when the selector is in the way you push it down and you know basically you're going full auto <coughs> other than that it's going semi auto so you know um, I much prefer that than those fucking stupid sticker you know and you have other sensor in there you know to detect that and if the sticker is not correct and blah blah you know um, I hate that I'm really not a big fan at all of that so you know I want uh, to give that guy a try and to compare it versus um, you know the uh, X Cortex um, you know um, I don't remember the name but you know basically that's a X Cortex same thing you know like you have a switch right there and yeah, the same thing on the back, you know. So, um, and those guys come uh, stuck uh, in the Raven Evolution Neo series, uh, which is, you know, like for me, in my opinion, you know, the best uh, budget gun you can buy right now, at least in Canada. Um, so, you know, I want to check how they stack up, all the, um, you know, all that stuff, because that guy right there, um, basically, you know, is, um, is using a uh, magnet. So you know you have a magnet on your sector gear, and when it go, uh, it pass through here, you know it detect you did the cycle and all that stuff. So you know that's really good. You know there's nothing wrong with it. The only thing, uh, you know the the big downside of it, it's you know you have to use those gears which are you know like 18 to 1 gear set. So you are stuck with basic gears, and uh, that guy goes online for 45 bucks. When that guy, you know. Uh, it's supposed to detect gear, so you know you can go with the gear ratio you want, and um, it's 38 bucks uh, right now. And uh, uh, all the price I'm saying, you know, are for the Canadian market. But right now in AliExpress, um, I buy that gun for I buy that guy for 38.57 uh, or some shit like that. You know, under 40 bucks. So um, that's a really, really good. Um, um, you know, like. A really good deal I would say if it works properly and all that stuff and I can use the gears I want um, so you know I, I buy it and I was like yeah why not just give it a test um, so we have those two wires right there that as far as I understand it's for gel blast or you know like goes in front and it's for the mag or something I don't know I never uh, use gel blaster but um, you know other than that you get your wires, you already have your motor connectors in there, it's already in the end, so you know there's nothing wrong with it. So I'm gonna cut those wires and uh, I'm gonna try to install it um, you know, eventually to do a build and all that stuff, so yeah. Um, so in the small accessories box, let's check it. let's take a look, you know, quick, just to see what it got in there, because I don't want to make the video last, you know, for 20 minutes, but... Just to see what we got in there. So right there, you, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. 
but um, it looks like it's a sticker, you know, to protect uh, the back of the the MOSFET, I would say, but it doesn't seem like it's uh, for that MOSFET, so I think it's a generic, you know, accessory uh, thing. So right there you have your uh, sticker, and those stickers are to protect, um, you know, like those three guys right there. And that guy right there, so you know, you basically you put the sticker in there, um, like so, like that, and it protects, um, you know, your like contact in there, so it doesn't short or anything, you know. So that's that's pretty good, I would say. Um, so that's the first thing you need to do for the installation. And the other thing, you know, you have a small, you know, like plastic washer, so when you screw it. Uh, Right there, you know, you have to put a, a washer just to make sure, you know, your screw doesn't short and make a bad contact with that. So, that's basically, and you cut the, those two wires uh, straight there, you know, uh, if you don't need that guy, if you don't have a gel blaster, basically. And that's pretty much it, you know, other than that, you know, you have a two, you know, motor connector or a fuse, if you want, you have uh, everything to put some things in um, you have a little rubber piece and again you know I think that's for another MOSFET and you have those guys right there that I don't know that's probably for the gel blaster right and you have a each link and all that stuff so you know it's all good um, you have a couple of stickers you know a patch and all that stuff but you know um, I mean thank you for that but you know I would prefer not having all those guys and pay, you know like a couple bucks le uh, less so uh, that's me that's my opinion you know but you know it's like I I understand you know that some people you know really like oh yeah look I, I got this and that with that and but you know me personally I'm like yeah but you know like how much more I paid for you know a couple of accessories that I don't give a fuck personally um, so you know that's that's me that's my that's my opinion you know but um, yeah like I said you know it's cool to have a, you know some patch and stickers and all that stuff but you know at the same time I don't give a fuck so um, I would prefer you know like do you know like I don't know like a couple of different version of it you know like something but uh, talking about version this is for version 2 gay box of course and um, this is the version 1.9 um, basic module, uh, they said, so, you know, uh, it's not, it doesn't tell you anywhere, uh, version 1.1, so, yeah, this is basically, you know, like, the basic one, um, and I want to give it a try, because, you know, um, for, for under 40 bucks, you know, if you can just, you know, like, your uh, cut off lever and your trigger switch and all that stuff and you get that guy that is already all wired and all that stuff um, you know and it's really easy to put in uh, I think you know like almost anybody can do that so you know that might be a really good um, budget um, upgrade you know if you don't have a gun that is uh, lipo ready and have a MOSFET and you know all that stuff and uh, you know in terms of upgrade um, if you have your basic jewelry with cut off lever and all that stuff, you know, which can cause, you know, like, semi-auto problems and all that stuff, um, you know, this might be, you know, like, a really good option. So, that's why I want to take a look at it. So, yeah. So, that was pretty much it for my review of that guy. Um, like I said, you know, nothing crazy. This, that's not, you know, like, the ISTA one with the full programmable uh, shit and all that stuff. Um, because, you know, I won't just you know i don't like those uh, sensors you know those light sensors and all that stuff i'm not a big fan because you know you get those are super weak you know they, they can break easy sometimes it just you know doa or uh, you know you have just a small spot of grease you know that goes in there and doesn't work and you know like um, i mean one month uh, yeah one month back you know i i buy the uh, specno arms sag 01 
or some shit like that. Anyway, let's say AK-74 comes with Gay Lassler and all that stuff, you know, and everybody was like, this is so good. I grabbed the gun, put the battery in it, you know, all that stuff, try the gun, doesn't work. Error code, you know, ah, yeah, you know, like, we don't detect um, your sector gear, so fuck you. So, you know, like, I buy that gun, and I never shot a baby with it so you know I'm gonna have to disassemble all the things check what the fuck is wrong uh, the sensor are dead or no just a little bit of you know so um, yeah I don't like that you know of course that guy you know if you get grease all over it you know it's gonna it's gonna spark somewhere and you're gonna kill it you know so when you use those guys just put, don't put too much grease and all that stuff and just be careful you know that it doesn't short anywhere or you know nothing crazy like that and you should be fine so yeah, that was pretty much it, so I hope you guys enjoy, uh, stay tuned for the next video, and have a good day. So I hope you guys enjoy, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, I hope you have a great day, that was the Airsoft Tech, and I'll catch you in the next one.